हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट आई पी कैम व्यू आर लाइट फॉर पी सी बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू वॉट इज आई पी कैम व्यू आर लाइट फॉर पी सी वॉट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शन देन विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल दिस ऐप ऑन यूर पी सी एंड हाउ यू कन्फिगर दी ऐप टू मेक द कैमरा लाइव and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one so let us start basically ip cam viewer light for pro for pc is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your mobile or computer screen it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet the main purpose of this app is that by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera not only the live view of the camera but you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera you save the live view of the camera and you take the backup of the recorded videos and many more to download and install ip cam viewer light pro for p for pc on windows as we have to take the help of android emulator first we download the blue stack on windows os and with the help of it we download and install i became your light pro for pc and i make a separate video that how you install blue stack on your pc and so i give link in the description you can watch the video if you don't know that how to install blue stack on your pc after you install blue stack for pc on your on your windows os you find the option like blue stack turn on blue stack 5 on your desktop what you should do you should click on this double click on this icon and it will open the app now just click on the app player now after that just click on the system app and click play store and here you could search for ip cam viewer light when you do this you find the app okay like this one this app 10m plus download just click on this and click installed when you click on installed it is start downloading first on your system then it start installing and it is totally automatic process you don't need to click anything anywhere so let the process to be finish now this start installing now is the solution is complete you should find the option open one more thing i would like to discuss with you that when it is completely installed then you find the option on the desktop also like this one okay when you double click on this one it will directly open the app or either you you should open from here just click open and click okay and click allow click close just take and click click close now this is the interface of the app okay here you find a lot of option 
like upgrade, import, export, more action, scan camera, app setting, win many option. And here it is a back option. And here by this you, you are able to add the your camera, DVR, NVR, whatever you want. And here it is a total gallery. Just click on that. And after that, so this is the interface of the app. The first thing you should do, you should click on this plus button. And here you found the many options like IP camera, DVR, NVR, generic URL, random demo cameras, scan cameras, add on with cameras. So basically, if you want to add standalone cameras, then you should click on the add on with cameras. Otherwise, if, if your if your PC and your camera both are connected to the same network, and you should click on this this option, then you can scan by them by directly from here. Okay, and here you find the IP camera DVR and NVR. Just click on that, and here you find a lot of option. Like here, you name of the camera. Here you should enter. Like I am adding the DVR, like test DVR. And here you should select your brand like third eye whatever the brand you are having okay and after that here it asks for a username and the password please don't be confused host ip is basically is that the one where you should enter the ip address or a static ip address or a local ip address here i enter my ip address And here I should enter my port number. And here, please don't be confused. Here it's an option where you enter the username and password of the device. Device means DVR, anywhere, whatever you're adding. Okay. Now just click save. And here you should see that it is already added in your in your in this app. You click on this you find light option like clone camera delete camera show qr code enable disabled camera lot of option okay now just back it and start loading and after a few seconds your camera comes live here you find the many option like uh, audio button is there if you want to listen the voice and if you want to record the voice if you should even here also and here you, you find the PTZ option. Here you want to take the cam scan. If you want to take a screenshot, you should click here. So your camera comes live like this. So now your camera comes live. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks. Thank you. Have a nice day.